And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some machine madness to kick off our meme tier Sunday stream. Usually it's meme tier Monday, but as y'all know, I am taking tomorrow off, so no stream. So we are going to be uh, doing our meme tier decks uh, today on Sunday instead. This deck is basically the casino deck, right? Like, so that's that's basically what this is going to be, except for we are going to be playing Assembly Bot in here because this, this, uh, um, meme tier deck was about playing the bots with our machine deck. So assembly bot and slot bot playing these two together. And honestly trying to play, you know, like slot bots, Bilgewater, assembly bot, PNZ, assembly bot, you want to cast a lot of spells, slot bot, you want to draw a lot of cards. There's really not a better shell to put those two bots in than the, uh, casino deck here. So that's what we got here. We got machine madness. Kind of switching it up a little bit, getting another thread in here. So we're going to be casting a lot of spells in this deck because we draw a lot of cards, especially with like our pick a card and rummage and things like that. And so each spell that we cast will be granting assembly bot plus one plus one. And we're going to pair that with some perks map because that's something, you know, like with assembly bot, you want to have some way for it to get through and not just be blocked by one ones all day. So you want to be able to give it overwhelm or elusive. And that's what our deck can do with the sump perks maps. Um, so we can give either of our bots because both slot bot can get really big assembly bot can get really big either one of those Getting a sump works map on it would be not like would be really nice plus assembly bot when it's just a 1-1 We could suit it up and get it to be a 4-4 four -four, um, You know pretty and then uh, that will just help it get pumped up faster um, So you know suit up could work with the assembly bot as well uh, But yep, that's that's our deck so let's go. We're going to just go play over in normal. That's what we do with our meme tier decks. So we're going to go play five games over there. And we'll see if we can make some big bots with our Machine Madness deck. All right. Karma and Lux. All right, we'll keep the slot bot. Mulligan the rest of the hand. We got a Jinx back. Ooh. So we can lead with slot bot or assembly bot. Lead with either one. Well, I'm probably not casting a spell this turn. I don't think I'm going to Mystic Shot the 1-2. So since I'm not casting a spell this turn, we'll play the 1-4. Because it will gain 1 from this thing. This may be a good time to use the suit up. Hmm. Maybe a good time to use that suit up. Maybe not. Maybe not. I just like that it's two mana right now. We play in build rules, son. I'm gonna pass. I do like that it's that two mana, but we're just gonna pass. Okay, well we're definitely playing Jinx. Alright, let's mess some folks up. Rules are made to be broken. Like movies. Her people. They cannot hide. Wait a minute. Let's. All right, we'll suit up that thing. We're gonna Mystic Shot one of these, block the other one. Oh. 
Remembrance. No, that was the only one we didn't want to see. Oh gosh, thank you, yes. Oh, that is great. I don't even know why they would make that attack. But yes, I mean, they, they should be eating the slot bot. They could eat, they could, they could have just eaten slot bot for free. I'm very glad they didn't do that. Spin, spin, spin. You win. This would be a great time to have a rummage. Get rid of these two. Draw two more. Be a great time for a rummage. That's a spicy find. <laughs> I love any slop op build. The card's utility is not matched by the voice actor's performance. A winner is you. Yeah, they they, did, they do have a great voice actor for that, don't they? A winner is you. <laughs> we can do this. Um. Blue card. Let's draw another card. Blue as the serpent. Yuck. A beacon in battle. And they're not scared of a burn spell. You just use any burn spell and then. Basically, I'm kind of scared of single combat. Yeah, that's what I was scared of with single combat. Uh, which is why I wanted to block here, but that's not too bad. Because that's, that's not single combat going after the thing that it should be going after. So obviously we'll pick a card at the Flame Chompers. The question is... I've been my life. The question is, is which one of these do I want to... Between Assembly Bot and Slot Bot, which one of these two do I want to uh, Sumpworks map? Kind of assume pass priority to them. Soon they're gonna try to kill Jinx. Okay. So this is gonna be a 10-7. I think we go with the assembly bot. All right, we're gonna be drawing four cards this next turn. I fight with my spirit, not my fist. Yeah, get the dragling. What is gained when we return malevolence? Hmm, that's kind of an awkward four cards to have. I may rummage away the two bots.
guess this slot bot's about to get pretty big. We could play Twisted Fate and slot bot and rummage away the assembly bot and draw one. Or could go blue card. Kind of want a red card and not let them draw a card with this draggling. Or not let them draw a card, but not let them attack. That is only two life, though. I'm always up for a round or two. Oh, I'm just gonna draw. Soak it in. No, don't don't say that they're gonna be spamming healing potions with that karma. No, don't do that. I don't want that to happen. Yeah, I didn't want to discard that Sumpworks map. Definitely wanted that Sumpworks map. Alright, come on, Slotbot. Get, get us a bunch of power here. Okay. Got two lethal attackers. Darn. Well, each one of these d does eight damage. Um, I mean, this is just game now. Tried. Let's play. Too many rainbows across the sky. Yeah, that is true. My opponent could have just killed me if they would have just shot these other two smaller things with the overwhelm damage. They would have just killed me. But the game's over. It doesn't matter. Gave myself a chance though with the two the two bots, both being um, both being twelve power. That's all we really want. Hope we can do that every game. Just have assembly bot and slot bot twelve power elusive. That'd be great. We got a brand new Twitch Prime sub. Y'all get some hype votes in the chat for our new sub T seven oh three. Thank you so much there seven oh three. I appreciate that. All right, we're gonna keep the. I'm gonna mulligan the pool shark. We'll keep that part. The rummage with those. They just become free. Free cards, basically. Confine and contain. Nothing escapes my notice. Hmm.
So another Lux deck, this time with Ash. Oh, thank you so much. T703 says, I don't really watch Twitch, but I really appreciate your YouTube content. Well, that's really nice for you to come on over here and, and yeah, use your Twitch Prime sub. Of course, everybody with Amazon Prime also has Twitch Prime, and that means a lot. Thank you. Uh, I don't really want to waste all this mana. an early, early pick a card. I don't usually like playing pick a card, like, on turn three because of just the chance of us not being able to use all these extra cards, but the good news is, or, like, the the thing about it is I am going to be playing Rummage, so I can, I can rummage away these things. So we can have, like, Pool Shark, or, let's see, so I want, you know, Twisted Fate's going to be just better than Urchin or Pool Shark. Or, like, you know, those two combined. Now I can't play either of those, but we can just rummage them away. All the world on one arrow. I know I have, like, the attack plus Mystic Shot, but I'd, if they just have Elixir of Iron, for some reason, they break that up. And I just don't think it's worth it. So Twisted Fate's at 4 out of 8. Obviously, the Rummage can make that 6. Ugh. All right, so I'm going to be casting Get Excited and Mystic Shot and killing this thing. Anything else? <laughs> Adorosans, stand together. Trying to kill this thing. Again, they could have that elixir of iron. I really hope not. I really hope this works. Yay. Not elixir of iron. So now we'll have leveled up Twisted Fate. And we all know how good leveled up Twisted Fate is. It's real good. Watch the ball, folks. Hmm. All right, so I'm going to discard I discard the map and the pick a card. Yuck. I was planning on suiting up the Chompers to challenge. Do we discard Jinx? You no. Know, maybe. What if I discard Jinx? And keep pick a card with this Twisted Fate. So do that. Now this game's heating up. All right, assembly bot, you can do some work. Blue as the serpentine. It's probably better to play the pick a card, but for next turn. 
but I mean, come on, we're machine madness. We gotta play our bots. Gotta play the bots. Then even if they do have like removal for this twisted fate somehow, I guess now I have this other pick a card since I played the bot. Yeah, you know, this this one will turn into an, another leveled up twisted fate for us. I'm still pl planning on suiting up the challenger right now. They have a ton of cards. Eight cards. <laughs> Twist of eight, and they call me a shark. Hogtie. No, they don't. I think I attack with anything else now. I'll just pass. Okay, so we can we'll pick a card the Sumpworks map for blue card, suit up for red card. I guess I could go suit up first for blue card and then have to pick a card for the red card and then you know then we'll have more decisions on which which card that we want to shuffle back with the pick a card. Hey Sam. The time is right. Strike now. As the arrow flies, I'll lead us to victory. Oh, you think I should have picked a card on suit up and then and then cast the Sumpworks map? So I definitely wanted to go red card right now. It's kind of unfortunate that I couldn't couldn't get to gold card this turn, but you know the red card on on that Ash, we're just gonna keep on hurting it. We'll have gold card for like next turn. Well, I mean, I guess I, I can gold card now. And that, that's what I meant, not next turn, but after, on, after combat. So yeah, now we get to gold card this thing. No, Harvey. No. See, there's Harvey being the guard dog, and then Puppy just chilling in the bed, laying down. <laughs> so that's the two dogs right there behind me. One is just sleeping. The other is being the guard dog. <laughs> yeah, so... Um, yeah, Twisted Fate's kind of worded weird. Um, so whenever... 
so whenever you have the leveled up twisted fate each round the first three times you play a card i play a destiny card and it's always so that doesn't really tell you like the order and stuff so basically when you have the leveled up twisted fate your first spell will get you the blue card your second spell gets you a red card and your third spell gives you a gold card and then any spells you cast after that doesn't do anything so that's your first three spells but it's always that order it's always blue then red then gold um let's see so i have nine mana this costs eight mana to cast these three so i guess we'll just be casting those three um don't know if there's any particular order we need to be playing these in Yeah, so he stops after three this round. So yep, the f so we just played one card, so we got a blue card. Our next thing that we play, we'll get a red card. So we can have get excited plus the red card kill this 5-4, for example. If I just pass, they could just pass back and I miss out on six points of damage. So much to play for. So we drew six cards this past turn. The slot bot's about to get six additional. I could suit up the slot bot. Virtue guides me. And make that larger, or I suit up one of these pool sharks. Um, I want to see the pool shark. Because now with this Radiant Guardian taking... I guess it takes just one damage. Never mind, it doesn't take two. So it's a 5-4. So pool shark still doesn't trade with it. Yeah, they that's not it's not clearly worded whatsoever, but that's that's what happens with Twisted Fate. Anyway, Big Alfredo, welcome. Hesitation to tell. A Demacian soldier is worth ten foes! Okay, I guess that's worth 10 foes. Seems like a lot of foes. Error. Come on. Come on. Okay. Where are you going? I just block with that thing. Alright, so now a gold card will kill the Radiant Guardian. Potentially. Hmm.
Alright, I'm just going to gold card this thing and stun it so they don't kill my 4-4 and don't gain 9 life. We're just going to stun it. I. We're at 11 cards left. So we should probably win this game sometime. What's up, Rex? 18 months, still the best streamer. Thank you, Rex. Hope you've been having a good past couple months, everything. Hope everything's going great for you. Thank you so much. Okay. So they are... Not going to make this easy. They're going to stay at 19. Um... I need room to play stuff, so I don't really mind this thing dying, because I do need the room to play stuff. Um, so I think I'm just going to let this happen. Avenge me. Remember the fallen. And then Agent Iowa, three months. These three months have gone by quick. They sure have. Thank you so much, Agent Iowa. Oh, yeah, y'all are... I, well, so... Yeah, I guess I could have put it in front to deny the healing. By putting it way in the back, we were actually... It, it showed seven, but... If they had nothing, I could have Mystic Shotted them for lethal if they would have had nothing. Like, my Mystic Shot was going to kill them before they would have healed if they didn't have anything, but of course they did have stuff, so it wasn't, you know, that didn't happen. Something for all. So I can Mystic Shot this Radiant Guardian to kill it. Because Gold Card will do one damage, Mystic Shot will do one damage. Alright, now I only have six cards left. Do need to end this game before we run out of cards. I should still have both five cards left. I should still have both of the the Sumpworks maps, right? Like I think I just I think I just pick a card at Sumpworks map earlier. Oh, because the disconnect it won't let me go back. And we should still have both of our Sumpworks maps. Um, that's our that's my third sub of the day. Right, like I don't I don't think I discarded a Sumpworks map to to anything. I'm pretty sure we still have both of them. Hmm. I can't kill that one.
when I discarded Jinx. Did I, did I discard one to level up Twisted Fate? Maybe I did. I guess maybe I did. I'm not sure how I want to do this. Definitely considering like playing some of these other ones first and then playing Twisted Fates. Yeah, I can kind of use this as like blue card, red card, and red card being nice of getting rid of this Ice Veil Archer. Um, but that means I have to get rid of one of these things. And... Alright, we'll get rid of this. Yeah, I definitely pick a card on some Soapworks map, so I definitely have a Soapworks map still in the deck somewhere. <laughs> so I have four cards, so drawing, so we'll be drawing, well I guess we'll have five cards because we'll be putting this back. We'll be drawing two. Oh no. Alright, so we're not putting one back. So we'll have four cards drawing two. Hoping this can do enough damage. I mean, it looks like it will. Looks like it will, but some frostbite stuff. Ugh. Hmm. This is a big problem. I can't play Urchin, discard Mystic Shocks, then I go down to one card. And then I lose at the beginning, at the round start, so I can't do that. How, how am I supposed to kill Jinx? What do, you, what do you want me to do to kill Jinx? Oh, I, I should have done that during combat. I forgot about growing these things. I should have done that during combat. What do you... How do you... Yeah, why are you saying kill Jinx? Like, what do you want... How do you want me to kill Jinx? They surrendered? Why did they surrender? Did they not realize that I was about to lose? I don't think they realized I was about to lose. They didn't they didn't realize I was about to lose. They just saw all all of like the huge units that I had and thought I was gonna win. Anyway, uh, I think we're gonna just mulligan everything. Let's all look good. Good to mulligan. New hand. All right, we got our bots. So we need this game to go longer and our bots to take over. Uh, they're they're a faster version of our deck, so 
assuming this game will go longer is probably not a good assumption. Or wish. Or anything like that. So I can make assembly bot a 3 3 right now. Or slot bot's gonna grow after I cast rummage. But it's just a 1 4 for this turn. We'll go with just the 1 4 for this turn. Mm. I'm discarding jury rig and I have to discard either assembly bot jinx or slot bot. I have to discard one of these. I guess it's assembly bot cuz I'm playing my spells now. Okay. Mystic shot that thing, block that thing, block this thing. Hey Dream Chaos, alright, well alright. We'll see you back here later. <laughs> you didn't know Assembly Bot existed. <laughs> yeah, it's a pretty cool card. That's a cool one. Give it a whirl. Give it a whirl. No. <clears throat> turning Slotbot into Golden Crushbot. That's the that's the one bot we're not playing, is Golden Crushbot. Alright, just gonna red card. Gets rid of the 1-1, one, one, it makes the 4-3, can now, you know, we can block the 4-3 with the 2-1. Alright, or we'll just, we'll just trade here. That's fine too. No. The treasure was in me the whole time. The whole time. Rules are made to be broken, like buildings or people. All right, I'm gonna rummage away these two cards. Now, obviously, I'm definitely going to do that. But I'm just going to go with the leveled up Jinx. Drawing to a turn. All right, let's get 10. Tilt. <laughs> Twist of Fate dying right before level up is the most anticlimactic thing that can happen in the game. True. Oh no! Jinx gone too. Well, good news, they only have one card. We're definitely ahead on, in on the battlefield. Be about to have a lot of cards next turn. So we're taking seven down to eight. They probably should be giving us those puff caps. Because I'm about to draw a ton of cards. They should be giving us those puff caps. Yeah. I was hoping they weren't. A winner is you. Could those cards be any worse? So much to play for. It's It's just our worst cards. Find. 
Those are the worst cards. Spin, spin, spin. You win. We do have a 9-8 elusive. And we drew zero puff caps. I think we go blue card. Yeah, the first three were awful, and then then the the Sumpworks map is saving us. We need to just hopefully not, you know, like with with Slotbot. Hopefully we don't. Oh no, they have an elusive. I was gonna say hopefully we don't uh, just really mess it up, but now they have an elusive. Um Come on, give it a try. We've done a good job of drawing zero puff caps. You gotta put something in front, even if you're planning on using a spell, you gotta put something in front. What are these people doing? Hmm. I guess they're not dead though. Because they killed the Jinx. I was thinking that was gonna kill them. Watch the ball, folks. Spin, spin, spin. You win. No. Well, this may not be good for me. So close. Just gotta get two Watch points of damage across. Keep trying. You're bluffing. All right, one more point of damage. Something for all. I thought you'd never ask. Our winner is you. All right, pool shark. They have too many cards. I don't. I don't think I'm going to be winning this. I just have too many cards. So like, the turn that I attacked with all three and had the suit up, I guess if I would have played the the Pool Shark first, maybe? Like if I would have just played Pool Shark first pre-combat and then, and then attacked with everything? 
that might have worked with them having so many spells like those <clears throat> both of those progress days were just perfect for my opponent of of you know stabilizing and finishing the game hey what's up killer all right so we're gonna keep Everything I think now we'll get rid of the suit up. I don't know suit up with flame chompers is pretty nice. It's good against Ezreal twist of fate, too um, Obviously we'd prefer to have two mana suit up not four mana suit up I'm Keep it though Assembly bot is Is a little rough to be honest um because it can die, you know, it can die right away. So I kind of need the suit up to protect the, the assembly bot. If we can protect it, then we're looking a lot better. So we're looking at like turn three doing nothing, turn four playing assembly bot with suit up protection. Wow, they discarded thermogenic beam. That's a surprise. And the more things that trade like that, then, you know, the worse for us. Ezreal and make it rain, you know, because of like Ezreal, make it rain, stuff like that, we do want to just trade as much as we can. Assembly bot. Yeah, like they just didn't. Ha they could have just taken that two damage, not cast Mystic Shot, and then they would have had red card. Kill those things. But that's fine with me. I don't really have anything that I want to discard yet with Get Excited. Alright, so assembly bots a five five. Do I block either of these with a five five? Maybe not. Could make the flame chompers a a four four. Let's do that, actually. I'm going to use my mana. Turn this into a 4-4. So I don't waste that one mana. I'll have my 4-4 challenge, Twisted Fate. And they're probably going to be focused on my 4-4. Which means good things for my assembly bot. Good. I'll take that. Never lost a fair game or played one. Wow. Soak it in. They do not respect the power of assembly bot. Go on then. Ah. I'm always up for a round or two. Yeah, basically, I did want to make suit up a, a five-five, 
and then have them like thermogenic beam like they could have get excited that, that would have or you know get excited or gotcha which would have been real bad but i didn't want them to like thermogenic beam something either i kind of wanted to, i wanted to try to protect the the slop off for a longer game Um. I'm casting pick a card. It's just whether I put back get excited or assembly bot. And I guess it's assembly bot. Eye. I guess that's kind of crazy to block with Twisted Fate right now. I'm about to level it up next turn. I guess that's that's just crazy. I just like Assembly Bot so much. Uh, we're going to have to block with one of them. We can't go that low. We have to block with one. And maybe I should just be blocking with the other. They're just machine madness. I don't want to block with those things. Ugh. Yuck. This hand is pretty yuck. Alright, so I'm going to level up to a Fate right now. though. Dude, this slot bot's about to be huge. I'm a people person. So we do need to be a little worried about Next turn, Riptide Rex. So the Slotbot will grow seven. Um, I guess Twisted Fate's a free attack, but I also don't really need to attack with red card killing all of these things anyway. Well, that's, Excuse me. that's what I get. A winner is you. That didn't work out. Okay, so the assembly bot's taking three. Okay, so I can't just cast a spell and save the assembly bot. I'd have to cast three spells to save assembly bot. Um, which obviously I can. But I want to cast those spells with Twisted Fate in play. So I'm just going to... I guess I'm just going to let it happen. I'm sorry, assembly bot. 
You are the best of bots. Back at the table. The best of bots. Oh, I guess I only have... Oh, no, yeah, I'm going to have extra mana. Okay. Um... Who says I don't share? That was, that was still bad by me. I should put this other Scrap Scuttler in front. Just in case. Man, I wish I could play. I wish I could play these other slot bots. They're about to get even larger. All right, GGs. So even with that mistake with attacking with the Twisted Fate, we are still able to pull that one off because we were quite ahead. And our bots were getting large. They should have definitely killed the assembly bot when they had the chance with the Twisted Fate gold card. But they didn't. I think they could have even red carded and killed it. All right, and frostbite mid range, gonna be a great challenge for our last game. Let's see. So I'm not doing anything turn one or turn two. Turn three, we'd have assembly bot. We'd have get excited, discard flame chompers. Um. Pick a card would be for like a lot later. It's a good card, but let's let's just get rid of it No, nope, just watching that's that's the only way to earn channel points That's what that's what it is for it's points for watching Pretty bad if we play the turn one pool shark and then it's like a champion on top. That would have been jury rig on top. We would have been fine with that. Jury rig would have been fine. It doesn't it should it doesn't take that long to get to the 10,000 channel points. It shouldn't take you 3 weeks. A lot of people in like 5 to 7 days they'll have it if they're watching something like that like if they're watching the stream the whole time. Especially how you're subscribed, you earn you earn the channel points faster whenever you whenever you're a sub. Three mana one one, getting it done. All the world on one arrow. Basically making it so they can't really attack, because if they attack and frostbite the assembly bot, then we block with the 1-1. One, one.
a go it's gonna go gold card over red card so if they have elixir of iron i'm still doing two damage not just one damage and it would also be stunned And then of course we're gonna be just you know having get excited discard this Or I could discard Flame Chompers, have Flame Chompers challenge. Give us some room. I don't really want either of these to die. So much to play for. And because it's how they threw the assessor out there like that, it's kind of likely they have another assessor. So it's good getting that off the battlefield. Because of more, assess more assessors, also reckoning, things like that. Make this basically a two five. Stand and fight. These are just casting Mystic Shot right now makes it do an additional point of damage. It makes it do three damage. Optimal outcome achieved. Searching for some winners. <laughs> What's up, Aquilobot? Hello? Faster than my arrow? I think not. The sun brought got me good. Uh, definitely scared of reckoning. But I can't do anything about it. Deal me in. Eyes open. So I led I led with the two the two one with the one one, because I'd rather those die than assembly bot die. To a reckoning. they did the uh, the attack where I save a lot of damage, right? If they would have had Sejuani challenge, I would not have saved much damage. Or like, you know, like that would have been a lot of damage coming through. The trap is set. I've had some good cards. Burn 
twice as hot are twice as hot. Yeah, I don't, I don't know exactly what they you said. You're done with the game until they nerf Frostbite. I don't really know what they're going to do to nerf this deck. I mean, we'll, we'll kind of see what they do, but um, yeah, this deck's just awesome. My opponents had a great hand, too. Three, All three Culling Strikes and Reckoning and two Ash, two Sejuani. Um, yeah, like they've, they've had exactly what you want. Yeah, I I agree that the trapper, honestly, the trapper with the enraged yeti is is really too efficient. And, and every single Freljord deck that I get, like for donation decks and everything, I'm just like, why, why are you not playing Avaros and Trapper? It's there's no downside with the three mana three three, and then you get the one mana five five, you know, a turn or two later, and that you know, like there's there's just no downside to that card at all, and it's just amazing. So yeah, the the burst speed. It, honestly, the burst speed kind of makes sense. You're saying you can't interact with it because it's burst speed, but it's it's kind of how it should be. Now the Ash's level up of like nothing can block with zero power. That is incredible. Like that's insanely strong. I'm not sure if that that needs to exist, but it makes sense because like let's say you have like a pump up a pump spell, <clears throat> and if the if the flash like if the if the freeze effect was fast speed, it would go on the stack, and you couldn't just play a pump spell because whenever the pump spell resolves, then like right before combat, then the freeze would resolve, and then you'd just get frozen. So at least how it how it's set up, they freeze your thing, then you can pump spell afterwards because it's burst speed. It makes sense to be burst speed, but um. Because like there there would be much less interaction if it was fast speed it would be, be a lot harder to interact with. The problem is Ash's level up of like the nothing with zero power can block like that's kind of impossible. With it being fast speed, the only thing to interact is just deny and that's it. Like you could deny the cards, so like it would it would really help out deny. But besides deny, there's no other interaction with the fast speed. I mean, I guess there's things like. There's things like single combat would be better if it if it was fast speed, right? Because they could they would frostbite your thing, and then you could respond with like a single combat. It's like there are there are a couple of cards like that that would be better if it was fast speed. But there we go. There's our machine madness. We got to do some cool stuff with assembly bot and a slot bot. Got some huge bots in there and some big elusive bots. And that's really what our deck was about. It was about uh, making these large machines and giving them elusive. And so that's what we were able to do with machine madness. All right. But anyway, that's it here for machine madness. Those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And of course, leave those comments as well. I would appreciate that. But thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.